Hey everyone! Welcome to another Devos with Carly. Go ahead and grab your Bibles because we're going to look into the Word of God this morning. And as always, we are looking through this book called How Great Is Our God? And so today in this book, we're going to talk about bats and the amazing things that God did when He created bats. So if you've maybe had a unit at school where you've learned about bats or maybe you've seen on a YouTube channel or a TV show, maybe you've heard at one point or another that bats are blind. Um, maybe you've heard the expression that someone can be as blind as a bat. Well, did you know that that's actually not entirely true? In fact, many bats do have sight and some bats even have excellent eyesight. But even with the best possible eyesight, finding bugs and flying insects in the pitch dark, that's, that's pretty impossible, no matter how good your eyesight is. And that's what bats eat, is insects and bugs like mosquitoes that fly around, and bats are always awake at nighttime and so it's really hard to see them. So God created bats in a very special way that they have this special hearing that helps them see in the dark. Sounds like those two things don't work together, right? They have special hearing that helps them see. But God can do amazing things. You see, as the bats fly through the night, in the sky, they make a sort of shouting sound that's so high-pitched that humans can't hear it. And that sound that they make, it bounces, or echoes, off of buildings, trees, rocks, and insects around them, giving them a sort of map that about whatever it is that's up ahead. So things that are coming up that they might run into, or bugs that they might want to eat, this echo tells them where they are. Bats can even tell the size and shape of a tiny mosquito, and they can tell how far away that mosquito is and which way it's going. Now this skill that bats have is a thing called echolocation, which simply means locating things by their echo. And with this skill, Bats have the ability to find their dinner even in the pitch dark. Isn't that amazing? And that's just one example of an impossible thing that God made possible. You see, you may not ever need to track down your dinner in the dark, and hopefully you don't. And if you ever do have to, hopefully it's not mosquitoes and bugs. But sometimes things in life feel impossible. That's when it's so important to remember that impossible things become completely possible with God. Turn in your Bibles to Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. Because in Matthew chapter 19 verse 26, Jesus says this, With people, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. You see, Nothing is impossible for God. So when things start to feel really impossible, you can always remember that verse in Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, that even if it seems impossible to you, it's possible for God. So when God asks you to do something that seems really hard and pretty much impossible, just like when Jesus gave that big mission to Peter and John and to all the other disciples and to you and me. When we look at that mission and see how impossible it feels about telling so many people about Jesus, don't focus on the impossible part. Don't focus on the big number and the scary things that you might have to do, like standing up in front of a lot of people or telling friends who might not know. Don't think about those things that seem impossible. Instead, focus on the God who promises to give you everything you need to do what he asks you to do. 
even when it seems impossible to you. So let's pray right now. God, some of the things that you ask us to do can seem really impossible and really hard. But we know that your word says that nothing is impossible for you. So when you give us a mission to tell others about Jesus and to spread the good news, help us to find the determination that we need to keep going even when it seems like it's impossible. We trust you, God, to work through us and to do amazing things that seem like they should be impossible and you'll make them possible, God. In Jesus' name, everyone said together, Amen. All right, we're going to put up the 30 second timer. And in those 30 seconds, I want you to pray and maybe think about something that feels impossible to you right now. And think about that verse in Matthew that says, With people, it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible.